Well, anyway, today we'll talk about potential divided equation. Okay, I have here a very simple circuit consisting of two resistors connected in series. I want to find the potential difference across each of these resistors. Now, what would you do usually? First, we would usually find the resistance of the circuit. The equivalent resistance of the circuit is actually the sum of the two resistors, 3 ohm and 2 ohm. Because we notice that these two resistors are connected in series. Right? Now, next we can find the current I through the circuit. Okay? Uh, this current is found using the potential difference across these resistors divided by the equivalent resistance. So potential difference across these two resistors is also the EMF of the source 10 volt. Okay, so I'll divide it by the equivalent resistance, 5 ohm, and I'll get 2 amperes. Now this tells us that 2 amperes of current is running in the circuit. Alright, now we're ready to find the potential difference across my 3 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor. So potential difference across 3 ohm resistor can be found using V is equal to IR. So current going through this resistor multiplied by this resistance, 3 ohms. Okay? So current going through my resistor, 3 ohm resistor is 2 amperes. And the resistance of this resistor is 3 ohms. So it means that the potential difference across my 3 ohm resistor is 6 volts. Now let's find potential difference across my 2 ohm resistor. Okay, current through my 2 ohm resistor is 2 amperes. And this resistor has a resistance of 2 ohms. So I note that the potential difference across this is 4 volts. Now you look at the two values and you notice that they add up to give you the EMF of the source, which should be correct because the potential difference across each of these resistors should add up to give you the EMF of the source here. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for a similar circuit, actually the same circuit, but this time with all the numbers removed and symbols instead. I want to find the potential difference across my resistor A and potential difference across resistor B. I'm going to repeat exactly the same steps but with numbers removed and symbols instead. Alright? So first I can find the equivalent resistance. I simply add up resistance or resistor A and B. Next, I'm going to find the current I. Okay? So I'll take the potential difference here across these two resistors, which is also the EMF of the source E, divided by the equivalent resistance RA plus RB. Okay? Now, next, find the potential difference across my resistor A. So VA is equals to the current going through it multiplied by this resistance. So I'll have RA multiplied by this current that's going through it. Okay, so my equation will look like this. RA divided by RA plus RB multiplied by E. Okay, similarly, for BB, potential difference across resistor B, I'll have the resistance of this resistor multiplied by the current through it. Okay, so resistance of my resistor B multiplied by the current through it, which is here. Can you see it? E divided by RA plus RB, the current through it. Okay, now let's look at these two equations here. You notice that from these two equations, I can see that the potential difference across my resistor A is actually a fraction of the potential difference across this branch. And this fraction here is given by the resistance of A divided by the resistance of this whole branch. Now similarly for B, potential difference across this resistor is given by the resistance of B divided by the resistance of this whole branch. Okay, multiplied by potential difference across this branch. Now, this is essentially the potential divided equation that tells us that this potential difference is a fraction of the potential difference across the whole branch. And you can find it by taking the ratio of the resistance. Thank you.